Good morning and welcome back. Student Council, Youth Rise, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do you want to be a part of Student Council next school year? If you do, fill out the application with the link in the chatter or scan a QR code on the papers around the school hallways. They must be submitted by April 28th. If you are a previous member, you must reapply. If you have any questions, email Mrs. Mowdy or see her in room 207. Youth Rise is a youth-based community service group that builds responsibility and involves teens while providing different approaches that support and empower change within the youth and the community. If this sounds like something that interests you, be sure to apply with the QR code or link in the chatter. Applications for Student Council and Youth Rise are both due this Friday. The Wizard of Oz musical is this week only. Doors open at 6.30. Get here early to get a great seat. Students from FHS, Clinton Prairie, Blue Ridge, Green Meadows, and Suncrest will be performing. Here's a preview from some of the cast members from our on-location crew. Hi, my name's Alexis Ramsey. Hello, my name is Eli Grasham. My name is Malachi Galishan. My name is Mia Lucio. My name is Jessica Adams. My name is Emily Shepard, and I play the Wicked Witch. I play Glinda. I play Auntie Am. I play the Tin Man. I play the Scarecrow. And I play the Emerald City Guard and Uncle Henry. This is the biggest show that Frankfurt High School has seen in a very long time. We put a lot of work into it. We don't want that work to go to waste. We want tons of people to be able to come and see the show. There's so many new faces that are going to be on the stage that you've never seen before. We've incorporated some features to it that I've never seen been done before. We have like three different schools. It's really cool. It's a really cool experience. Why would you want to do anything else? Come see The Wizard of Oz. April 26th, 28th, and 29th at 7 o'clock. $5 for students, $8 for adults. Be there. Don't miss it. Come check it out. Now, let's send it to sports and weather. Thanks, Emily. Hot dog golfers finished with the season best 18 hole score of 416 on a cold and windy day Saturday. Xavier McIntosh led the dog scoring with a 100. Luke Beardsley, 104, Jackson Ray, 105, and Alex Taylor with a 107, completing the scoring. Tri West won the invite with 334. Golfers have a busy week ahead with matches at highly ranked Tipton and Conference for North Montgomery. And come out to Lebanon on Saturday for the Kent Franson invite. Varsity baseball fell to Danville Saturday 5-11 to with a tough match. J JV played against Danville as well and won 6-2. to two. The girls' JV tennis tournament has been canceled due to two teams having prom conflicts and not being able to find replacements. And the softball match at Danville will be rescheduled due to poor field conditions at Danville from weather issues. The game will be rescheduled as soon as possible. Now let's take a short break from sports and send it over to Abby with the weather report. For today's weather, it is a cloudy 54 degrees. The high for today is 52 degrees and the low is 29. There's also a slight chance of rain in the afternoon. That's all for today's weather. Now back to Holden for more sports. Thanks, Abby. This week was a big week for the hot dog track team. The girls did an outstanding job competing against some of the top performers at the Noblesville Invite. It was great to see our ladies step up and race against some of the top-ranked athletes in the state. The guys and girls teams were both in action at the Hot Dog Invitational on Saturday. The boys team finished third and the girls came in fifth. Aiden Hudsmith hit a state standard in pole vault with a jump of 14 feet 4 inches and Jacob Burns won the 100 meter and 200 meter. And Alan Miranda Sandoval hit the new PR in the mile and the girls 4x8 and 4x4 teams both did exceptionally well, while Sierra Flores and Clarissa Castaneda both placed in the discus throw and Ashley Vasquez Rivera hit the new PR in the two-mile run. Both teams showed some great perseverance through some tough weather conditions, and the wind and low temperatures were a challenge as well. Our teams did a great job of stepping up and competing hard in less than ideal conditions. The boys team gets their turn to compete in, at Noblesville on Tuesday, and both teams will be at home on Thursday for the county meet. That's all for sports dogs. Now back to the hosts. Thanks, Holden. Starting today, we'll start a new series on Hot Dog TV. 
This series is called Fun Facts About Mr. Field. For today's fun fact, these are 100% true. Mr. Field's favorite sea creature is a narwhal. Weird animal, but power to you. Anyways, for lunch today, in lines one and two is chicken alfredo pasta, in lines three is cheese crunchers, in lines four is flatbread pizza. And happy birthday goes out to Damian Mora and Betty Valdez. That's all for today. Make sure you like and subscribe. And one more month left to school.